pi. We're going to go into detail a little bit more on our condensate drains. And we do have four condensate drains from C vent. The first one is a condensate inline vertical drain. It's meant to go in a straight up, straight down position. And get a little bit closer here. You can see there's a little reservoir inside. So as the water comes down the pipe, it's actually collected in here and discharges out the side of the heater. So if you're going to use this one, you're going to use an appliance adapter first on your heater, and then your inline condensate drain, and you're going to use your starter condensate drain to hose and connect it to the side. This has to be discharged either through a drain or to the outside of the house. Now if you're using a Bosch tankless water heater in 3 inch diameter, you don't need the appliance adapter. It already has a built-in factory appliance adapter, so you can put this right on top of the heater. So that's the inline vertical drain. The next one is a vertical drain T. You're going to, and I'm using this Takagi as an example, you're going to have an appliance adapter, and then you're going to use your 90 degree elbow and come into it this way. And on the top of the drain T, you're going to continue up, for instance, up through the roof, and your condensate drain is on the bottom, and that's where you're going to connect your drain tube hose to. And you can connect whatever length of pipe you need between the 90 and the condensate drain T to end up matching that hole, for example, up in the roof. The third condensate is a horizontal condensate drain meant to go in a horizontal position. If you're using 45 degree elbows for any kind of offset, and you want to place the horizontal in this position, it will not work. It won't drain the condensate out. And the fourth condensate actually has an appliance adapter built in, which is a female-female piece of pipe. The gasket it ends on both ends. It has an inline condensate, just like the first one we talked about, this reservoir in here that collects the water and discharges it out the side. And it also has a backflow, which is a damper inside of this to minimize cold air coming back into the heater and freezing it up. This one is generally used on the Takagi heaters because the Palomas, Reams, and Richmonds all have a built-in backflow built inside of their units. The Takagi heater does not have a built-in backflow. So if you're in a cold environment, you, you want to end up using this three-in-one combo. Again, appliance adapter, built-in backflow, and inline vertical condensate drain. If you need dimensions on any one of these, you can go to our frequently asked questions, the FAQs, on our website.